Good evening and thanks for joining us for 23 ABC News at 6, also available live on your favorite streaming platform. I'm Brianna Willis. There are all kinds of symptoms that come along with COVID. One that some doctors are finding more concerning is brain fog, which has become more common for those suffering from long-term impacts. 23 ABC's Vani Patino spoke with local doctors about how much we know and what solutions are there to help fight this issue. She joins us live now with more. Vanya. That's right, Brianna. Well, medical experts explain that brain fog is when someone who's had COVID starts having short-term memory loss, concentration issues, and other cognitive symptoms. Plus, they say that this is something that's becoming more and more common. Well, the one thing that we see is that this is a widespread problem. The memory issues, the confusion, the brain fog. Dr. Allison Rice with the NYU Long Island School of Medicine says they are getting a consistent story of people all over the world feeling like their thoughts are fleeing. There is no data to say as to who is more affected or at risk, and it's happening everywhere, including in Bakersfield. You know, what we've seen is a lot of short-term memory issues, so um, we don't know why that's occurring, but... It is. That is the main question. How is COVID, which is known to affect the respiratory tract, like our lungs, also impacting our brains? At the moment, there seems to be more questions than answers, but medical doctors are exploring several theories. Is it an inflammatory effect? You know, all that inflammation in the brain? Is COVID actually getting into the nerve cells or supporting cells in the brain? Is it affecting the blood vessels to the brain? She adds there may also be a connection with the loss of taste and smell to how it impacts the memory, but notes any long haul symptoms will require a long time to get answers. Dr. Hemel Cothery, the chief medical officer at Mercy Hospital, says the unknown makes it harder to treat, but they are trying to help mitigate this among patients. You know, I, I've told a lot of people to use anti-inflammatories. Um, turmeric is a very good one that you buy over the counter, very safe. Um, use, use that. Um, and then the B, B vitamins are my go-to for a lot of these things. Now, is there any real hard data? Probably not. That, not that I know of, at least, but it can't hurt you to try it. And although there are a lot of unanswered questions, Dr. Rice says there is a takeaway from bringing awareness to the fact that it is linked to COVID. Letting people know they're not alone. I think that anxiety and stress make it worse. Feeling like, why me? And is it just me? And am I, am I is it real? Is it not real? These are terrible things to put doubt in a person and making it clear that that this is something that is coming from COVID and yes, it is real and we need to work on it. At the moment, the CDC says that around one in every three people who have had COVID and were not hospitalized have lingering COVID-19 symptoms, which can include brain fog. Now, if you believe you are one of these people, it is best to just check in with your doctor. In Central Bakersfield, Juani Patino, 23 ABC News, connecting you.